everyone, welcome back to the No Tractor Challenge. We're on episode 12 now, and today is the day that we look at precision farming on all these wonderful bits of field that we've got. Uh, first off though, we're just checking on the lettuce. Uh, we've got, uh, looks like 16 pallets set outside already, and another 4,000 litres, which is about 8 pallets, I think. Um, that is sitting in there, ready to pop out as soon as we do that. Uh, so that's good. Um, now this field here we haven't done anything with since the harvest last time. So, um, oh yeah, that was where it uh, uh, didn't spray the chaff stuff out the back of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this field we are actually going to mulch because uh, we did remember the other time that our John Deere mower has a mulching option. So that is one thing that we are going to probably do today. Uh, also, we will be purchasing some more equipment. That was why I was checking on the lettuce. In fact, the honey as well, I think we're doing pretty good with. Uh, yeah, it looks like we got 10 pallets, uh, so that's 4,000 litres of honey, uh, plus another one and a bit up there. Uh, and we should have, let's pop the help window up, two ready-to-go silos as well. Yes, we do, 100% there, and 100% there. Smashing. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's start by having a look at the old precision farming menu and see where we are. Now we've got an environmental score of 50 at the moment because we've done effectively nothing. Uh, so I've literally just put it into the game and we haven't done anything with any of the fields since. Uh, so uh, what we are going to do is select this one and purchase the soil information for three grand. No, seven grand. Ooh, that's interesting. Seven grand for that. Or about this one. Eight grand for that. Hmm. That is going to eat into my profits a bit. <laughs> now, that was seven grand and eight grand. Let's have a quick look at the... Uh, uh, implements, let's check, there's nothing else, yeah, there's nothing on sale that we needed. Uh, so, um, implements wise, I think it's in miscellaneous. We should have passed all the stop signs and things. What's that? Oh, tiny bridge. Um, so we should have the uh, Isaria, there it is, the Isaria Scout. Uh, the Scout and the Proactive. Now that one, I don't know if that actually gets you the soil information or not, or if it's just the, um, uh, what's it thing, just the, um, like, uh, nitrogen and stuff like that. I think that's all that does. Uh, is there a help option for this? No, we can't do it from here by the look of it, I don't think. Yeah, sometimes they'd have a help option, but I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Uh, but yeah, that was 17 grand for the um, do-it-yourself kit. Plus there's going to be a processing fee on top of that, so I guess we're just going to bite the bullet and purchase uh, the soil information on uh, both of these. So that is some money spent. However, uh, our thing has gone up to 57, that's good. Okay, so what are we going to need to do next? pH is... Eh, not awful, but not brilliant. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to affect our grass fields, actually, now I think about it. I have to go and have a look at them, because obviously, yeah, the nitrogen map is pretty dire, <laughs> if we're honest. Uh, let's have a quick run over and check the grass field. And I will have to pop up the um, productions window in a minute as well, just to see what uh, what we've got on for um, the seed manufacture, because we need to figure out what we are going to plant. Now this says it is uh, terrible nitrogen, pretty crappy pH as well, so yeah, we'll have to have a good crack at dealing with all this. now. I believe this is actually something that's going to be changed in the update, because uh, there is an update to precision farming coming in the future. The specifics of it haven't been 
fully gone over yet, but uh, I believe it was the Giants podcast uh, that released just this past Friday, which would have been uh, Friday the 6th, uh, that um, they did mention in that that there are some updates coming to grass fields and um, things like that with precision farming. So we'll have to take care of that, and uh, we'll have to take care of these. So uh, let's see, it was production. Okay, lettuce. Materials are missing. Oh, crikey, we need to get more water for that. Okay, well, let's start by doing that then, because we need that to keep producing. I had no idea we'd run out of water. That is uh, unexpected, to say the least. <laughs> okay, yeah, so while we're down there filling up with water, I will check on the, um, the seed producing factory and see what else we need to get in there. So I should see you over there by the water pump in just a second. Alright, here we are just filling up with water now and uh, let's have a look at this menu again. Uh, now the mixed salads are producing nicely still. Uh, let's see... Okay, here we go, seeds. So we've got wheat and barley, we are going to need oats, corn and sorghum. Okay, so uh, yeah, we'll have to figure out what's going to go where. Now, most of those crops we are probably going to straight up sell, so I don't think it's going to matter too much what we put in what field. Though I'm thinking maybe the slightly bigger one we are going to use for... Um, so it's a quick squiz at the map again. Uh, yeah, this field up here I think we'll probably do with oats, so we get the straw off it as well. Uh, and then um, maybe sorghum from this one and corn from the bottom one here. Now obviously planting corn means we are going to have to buy a planter. The other two we can technically do, although um, we have a fairly tiny, tiny cedar. I mean, I say tiny, it's four metres. It's not the worst. Uh, we should be able to do it with that. But what I would like to do is actually take it down to the store and sell it in favour of getting a different cedar. A slightly bigger one that also comes with uh, the option of... Um, uh, what is it? It's a direct drill cedar. So that will help us in the future as well with precision farming in mind. And uh, that wasn't specifically something I was thinking of, but it will uh, it will help. And of course, if we do this field in oats as well, we can mulch it, and then just do um, straight up with the uh, the next stuff. So uh, let's see, what are we going to do first? Uh, let's do the mulching first, I think, because we haven't had a look at mulching yet before. And I'm not sure if it's going to affect anything with precision farming. I don't think it does. There we go. But, uh, you know, it'll, it's something different to do. And it'll get us a slight yield increase as well. So, can't complain too much about that. Okay, it's always over here. Um, should we repair this? Five grand to repair it. Uh, we'll wait a bit. We will repair that though. And, uh, let's see, mulcher, yes. I don't think that changes anything. No, but we shall go with mulcher. And accept, yes, thank you kindly. And, hop back in here, I reconnect. And let's whiz around here. Let's see about getting some mulching done. unfold. You know, I have been having some issues with my controls as well. Unfortunately they... Uh... Okay, that's up. No, that's fold. Okay, that's raise and lower. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we are going to get onto the field, turn it on, plop it down, and get some mulching done. Oh, and in fact, we might take out this bush on the side as well. Oh, we got one of them out of the way. <laughs> now, this uh, 
again, it's not much different from mowing, I guess, in the uh, the grand scheme of things, uh, in terms of what we've seen before and what we've done. So uh, I won't put you through like a time lapse or a, a montage or anything of this. It's it's basically the same type of field work we've uh, we've been doing. So we shall keep on doing it and uh, see what it does. But I'm hoping this is at least going to uh, increase our yield slightly. So let's hop out and have a quick look. Now, according, I shouldn't run across that, but there we go. Uh, now, according to this, we don't have a, an expected yield at the moment. And in fact, it doesn't even say anything about being mulched on there. Interesting. But uh, if we go onto this map, we should... Yeah, we can see there it's been... Not withered. Uh, da -da -da, mulched, mulched. Okay, what am I looking at? Here's, that's the harvested one. Okay, so it's just returning it to its previous state. Where's, oh, here's the mulched one. Okay, get rid of mul rolling. There we go. Okay, that's showing that it's been mulched. Splendid. And that should, hopefully, increase our... Um, uh, yield by a small amount. So uh, I'm going to carry on and get this done and uh, then what we shall do is have a purchase of our new machines uh, or at least um, equipment rather uh, or at least I'll get it all purchased and then surprise you with a visit to the shop. <laughs> uh, but no, essentially what we're looking at getting is um, a new cedar and a planter because we don't have one and we will need one for the corn uh, then we are also going to get um, a uh, cultivator, specifically uh, a disc harrow. Uh, there's a fairly couple of fairly cheap ones I've found, so we are going to go with uh, something along those lines that isn't uh, too costly, but is still reasonably large, and um, that will uh, help us sort of with the precision farming side of it because obviously if we keep ploughing that's going to not exactly tank our environmental score but it's not going to help matters and because um, even though we don't get weeds from it we don't get any bonus points for um, uh, like sort of dealing with the weeds in terms of like a, a mechanical weeder or even spot spraying them so um, the idea is if we get a cultivator then we can get points for the way we um, take care of the ground and also points for taking care of the weeds even if we just use our mechanical weeder to to knock them out early on as much as we can uh, so yeah uh, I shall carry on with this we'll get this all mulched up and uh, I shall see you probably down at the store once we're done and ready to have a look at uh, the surprising new equipment that we're getting Okay, we are now done with the mulching. That is all complete now. So I'm going to turn this off, fold it up, and uh, switch it back to a mower so that I don't forget next time. Because I know what will happen. <laughs> I will forget. Uh, yes, so something else that uh, cropped up uh, in my brain. God, that's looking a bit worse for the wear underneath. We'll give it a bit of a wash off too, I think. Uh, but yeah, something else that popped into my brain while we were um, uh, doing that mulching. Uh, the fields are also going to need to be fertilised somewhat. Because uh, we're not putting... Um, what's that stuff? Uh, soybean in this time. Uh, what we are going to do is... Get back in here. Uh, yeah, what we are going to do is um, put down some digestate first get that all uh, loaded up and uh, then see about uh, going and getting the cedar because um, you know, being as it's now precision farming we will need to uh, nitrogen things a little bit differently now it shouldn't be too much you know we're still pretty much going to have to do like two passes over the field but um, the nitrogen from the uh, digestate it should probably be um, not too bad, but it'll give us a bit of a head start on uh, uh, what's it on um, getting everything properly fertilised for whatever crop we are putting in. Now, obviously, we are doing uh, oats. I think I'd said in that big field there. So, 
try and get this in. Now, let's zoom in a bit so I can see it a bit better. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Okay, drop that off there. And, uh, yeah, we're going to pick up the... Um, uh, God, I'm going to run into those eggs. That's not helpful. Just back up and nudge it back into the thing. Hopefully it'll continue filling them. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, those, those will be for the scrambled egg thing. Uh, now... Oh, cracky. After all that, I bought that water over and then forgot to uh, unload it into the thing. That's, that's awesome, that is. Um, one thing we are going to do quick is just have a look at this... Um, uh, the config on this uh, digest tape slurry spreader. Because... Uh, and I'm not sure if this... It may only apply to the official, like, Giants mods. Yeah, this one doesn't take it. Uh, but if we have a quick look in the store at uh, slurry spreaders... Where are we? Have I gone past it? I did, up here. Uh, now, there was one that came with precision farming specifically. And it was a fairly big one, like a field master. Or, uh, I think it was a field master. We shall see in just a second if I can find it. Ah, yes, this one. Oh, it's the Garant. Uh, but if we go onto this, uh, it has the John Deere manure sensing module for an extra 10 grand. And what that does is uh, it acts as a sensor for the uh, digest state you're spreading. So it can sort of balance the, um, the flow rate and uh, all that sort of stuff. Now, I don't... Oops, of course I pressed the wrong button. Uh, now... This one I don't think can take it. No, it's most likely just the um, official giant mods. So, uh, all base game equipment. Uh, so, if we pop back over here now, does it go on this? It go on this. Uh, yeah, it would go on um, the, the tankers, that sort of thing. So, what we may have to do at some point in the future is look at getting one of the uh, the base game ones. Possibly something like this was what I was thinking of originally. Um, yeah, that one will take it, and that's like 15,000 litres. I think even... Oh, that one doesn't take it. But, uh, oh yeah, this one probably will. Yeah, this one does, the uh, Shelton, I guess that is. Yeah, that would take it as well. Uh, although we'd have to buy a uh, rear attachment for that, and that's only 6.8 metres. But yeah, anyway, that's a, another another thing to consider in the future. But for now, I am uh, going to unload this water, refill with digestate, and come back and spray this field. <laughs> Alright, we are back now, and uh, as you can tell from that uh, rumble of thunder, and... Uh, the wetness on the screen there uh, it has started raining so we are going to get this done as quick as we can before it gets too bad and uh, there we go now that is uh, as you can see there we do have the uh, the mini map feature is now available that came uh, came back with precision farming as it was in FS19 which is very, very good. I'm very happy for that. So uh, we are going to go all around this field and uh, get at least one coat of uh, Digest 8 on it and then um, go and pick up uh, our cedar, the new cedar that we are going to get. Um, and like I say, I did... Uh, uh, we'll take our old cedar down and exchange that, so that's going to save us a bit of money. Uh, but rather than buying everything all at once like uh, I was planning, uh, we're just going to do it in stages as we need it now. Um, that way we won't get uh, sort of bogged down in all sorts of uh, um, yeah, purchasing all sorts of stuff and then find we've run out of money for something that we really, really need at the time we need it. Because, uh, I mean, technically we don't need the cedar, but... I kind of want to get it because it will help with this. It's definitely going to make it a little bit better. Uh, it'll make it uh, quicker, certainly, because we'll go up from a 4 meter to a 6 meter. And uh, it will also have um, 
the uh, what do you call it feature on it, the um, direct drill. So that is also very handy. And we will have to do this on our grass fields as well before they uh, they grow too much. So I'm going to have a busy time spreading digestate all over the shop, it seems. <laughs> but uh, we'll get done this field first. And hopefully at that point this uh, brief shower will have passed. And uh, we'll be able to continue on as per normal and uh, get a bit of seeding done. Uh, yeah, and like I say, you've all seen me uh, spread and digestate and stuff many a time before, so I won't bore you all with that and all the back and forth running and getting it, but uh, uh, we shall continue on with this and uh, come back probably when it's done and uh, when we're getting our new cedar. I think it's probably the best option for now. Uh, so yeah, I shall see you all in a little bit. All right, we are down at the shop now. The uh, weather's cleared up a little bit. We are going to sell our cedar. Uh, as you can see there, the uh, money in the top right has gone down to 24 grand, and it is now going to go back up by about, uh, let's see, 1255. Uh, 12,532. That should put it back to about 14 grand if I respray it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's sell that for um, 14 and a half grand. Lovely. Back up to uh, 37,000. And our lovely new cedar is sitting out here. Oh, well, it's attached to the truck out here. And it is. A fantastic a Kirkling. Uh seed jockey, I think it is. Oh, there's the uh, the new license plate we've got on there now, the No Tracked R Challenge license plate that I just decided to put on because, yeah, you know, reasons. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's fill it up with a spot of seed from over here. That was what was in the um, uh, previous seeder that we had. So I just need to back it up and hopefully it will accept it from the pallet. No. Uh, do I have to... Ah, oh, there we go. I just wasn't quite close enough to it. I think that's going to be about eight, yeah, 830 litres. Lovely. So we shall head back up to the, uh, the farm and start putting some seed in before it goes all a bit tippy on us. Oh, that almost went bad, that did. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we are going to have to make sure to go a tiny bit slower with this, around the corners at least, because we don't want to uh, immediately ruin our brand new cedar. That would be quite awkward. <laughs> oh, crumbs, there it goes again. Okay. Yeah, slow down on the corners, Feldin. Otherwise we are going to be putting this thing on its lid, and no one's going to be happy. <laughs> Okay, here we are coming up to the field now, and as you can see in the top right, we've currently got a uh, variable um, seed rate being displayed. So if I open this, there we go, and let's see, we should be set on oats. Let's check the uh, precision farming map quick. Uh, where are we up here? Go to seed rate. Interesting, it's not actually giving us this data yet, but that's fine. That will probably come up once we start seeding, I would guess, or once it's turned on or something. But uh, yeah, we've got, uh, got our nitrogen going on there. Uh, I did do the grass field as well because we had some left over, uh, so just to use it all up, I figured I'd just hit that as well. Uh, so yeah, let's turn this thing on, drop it down and start seeding some oats. And, oh yeah, you can just see in the top left there, uh, we are in the, uh, the first dot, which is black. Uh, so we are sowing the minimum amount of seeds possible on this field, which is great. So hopefully that means we're not going to go through too terribly many. Uh, although we will obviously use some 
Now, I'm not sure why the minimap isn't updating. Or, in fact... Ah, this one is showing it now. Fair enough. So, yeah, it looks like we just had to actually get onto the field and start sowing uh, to see exactly how it was going to do. And that's fine. That's not too big of a problem. And, of course, this is also um, a... Uh, direct drill seeder so we should get some bonuses to our tillage which is fantastic yeah that is looking very very tasty indeed now let's hop out quick and have a look see what the field info gives us there we go oh i forgot to lime it as well didn't i what a numpty okay well we could probably throw some of that on before we um, get too far in uh but yeah you can see there our expected yield is 100 and 12% already. Uh, the nitrogen we can get up a bit further. Um, we may use the fertilizer spreader for that. Um, so yeah, that is looking quite good. Quite good indeed. Uh, so yeah, onwards we go. Now I'm just debating on what to do with the uh, the line because I should have really put it, put that down before we started seeding. But there you go. That was a mistake on my part. But not to worry. We will get it all sorted out one way or another. And with any luck, uh, we should be well on our way to having a new crop in the ground. So, let's see. Uh, what else have we got to do? Yeah, we've got um, two more fields to sow. And... Um, we will have to get a uh, planter for uh, at least one of those because it will need to be corn. So uh, that will be an interesting adventure back down to the store. Uh, hopefully we've still got enough money to get uh, that and the um, cultivator I was looking at as well. Now we should do because it wasn't uh, too terribly expensive but I think we will be cutting it fine because we're not... Uh, uh, we're not selling anything else uh, equipment wise we don't already have a uh, oops, missed a bit there uh, we don't have a um, planter that we are replacing or anything like that um, or a cultivator we are just buying flat out new so uh, we'll see how we go depending on how long this field takes uh, we may roll it over into the next day and uh, then purchase that equipment next time and uh, start uh, seeding those fields in the next episode I think and obviously we've got uh, a fair bit of stuff to sell still product wise so uh, let's have a quick look at the price of di uh, not digestate silage uh, where are we because we've got a ton of that to flog and yeah we are down at 265 in the BGA and uh, the specific reason I'm thinking BGA is uh, so we can get the digestate off of it. The, the money isn't exactly an issue. You know, it would be nice. But uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe we'd be better off uh, uh, just plonking it all in there um, for the digestate. Obviously, the more money we can get out of it, the better. But in the long run, um, I think having the digestate would probably be a better option for us than uh, sort of stressing over the price and waiting for it to be its absolute best and then selling it all because uh, obviously we're going to get to the point where uh, we'll be taking um, other stuff down anyway uh, yeah, we'll be taking straw down um, and we'll be ready to cut the grass again as well so uh, the more um, we can get just processed the better I think uh, we'll probably do that off camera again though because obviously uh, you know, you've seen me taking digestate, or not digestate, taking the silage back and forth before. Um, it can only be so exciting watching a, a tanker trailer, a uh, tanker truck pull in a uh, massive honking trailer full of silage. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll carry on with this. Uh, we'll get this finished, and uh, I think now's probably a good time to wrap everything up. Uh, because this is going to be a fairly long job, and I missed a spot. Did I get it? Yes, I did. 
Uh, yeah, this is going to still be a fairly long job, and we'll probably have to refill the cedar at some point as well. Uh, now, um, as and when we do put stuff into the uh, digester, we might have a tiny bit of a montage at the start of the next episode for that. Uh, or possibly at the end of this episode, just uh, uh, a little screenshot of the money going up, something like that. Depends on uh, when we do it. Uh, but yeah, I shall carry on with this, we'll get this all seeded, and uh, probably limed and uh, refertilized as well. And, uh, well, yeah. And then next time we'll start on the other two fields. So, uh, yes. On that note, uh, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, then please give us a like. Hit the odd subscribe button there too if you haven't already. And uh, comments are always welcomed. And if you'd like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, on that note, uh, I shall bid you all farewell. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope we'll see you all next time on the No Tractor Challenge. <laughs> Cheerio, everyone.